Okay, we have one less inequality. Uh, sadly, this does not involve absolute values, so we can't just make it a lot easier by squaring. And unfortunately, you're not going to get away from having a, some kind of method of determining where expressions are positive, where they're negative, when they're not very friendly expressions. So this kind of brings together some of the rational function stuff that we've done, done recently. So what is a good idea is to not consider where this is less than this, but can, if we subtract this from both sides, we can consider where the combined uh, fraction function fractional function is less than zero. So x over x plus 8 minus 1 over x minus 1 is less than or equal to zero. Okay, so now we're going to do a bit of work to put this into one fraction. So we're going to multiply things together. So x times x minus 1 minus, so 1 times x plus 8 all over x plus 8 x minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 so then on the top you've got x squared minus x minus another x minus 8 and I'm not going to um, expand this it would be a lot more use in a factorized form especially when we're thinking about signs which we're going to be soon so I'm just going to leave that as x plus 8, x minus 1. And this is going to be x squared minus 2x minus 8. So x squared minus 2x minus 8 over x plus 8, x minus 1. x minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Let's see if the top factorizes, and if it does, then um, we're, we're in business. So x, x, so 8 can be 4 and 2, minus 4 plus 2, over x plus 8, x minus 1 is less than or equal to 0, right? So, now what you can do, because you've got, you've just kind of got the, what you can do, because this now new function is made up of uh, something times something divided by something else times something else, if you can work out key values, I'm going to try and get a sign diagram. If you can use the known signs of this, then you can use a bit, if you know a little bit about number, we should be able to um, get a sign diagram for this thing to say where it is less than or equal to zero. So the way we're going to some construct this sign diagram is to kind of construct a sign diagram for all of these individually and then bring them all together. So if we have the key values on the line, so the values of interest, so for the first one, 4, it zeroes at 4. For x plus 2, well that zeroes at minus 2 x plus 8 zeros at minus 8 and x minus 1 at 1. So you're not going to need key values of minus 8, minus 2, 1 and 4. And it doesn't necessarily have to be brilliantly to scale. So now what we're going to do is consider the signs of all of these. So x minus 4. I'm going to draw these lines down here like that. So we're going to consider the sign of x minus 4, the sign of x plus 2, the sign of x plus 8, and the sign of x minus 1. Well, x minus 4 is 0 here. So then if x is, when x is 4, when x is bigger than 4, this is positive, and everywhere else it's going to be negative. x plus 2, well it zeroes at minus 2. So when x is bigger than minus 2, it's going to be positive. So here, here, and here. When it's smaller than minus 2, 
it's going to be negative. So that would be here and here. X plus, so X plus 8 that should say. And that zeroes out when X is minus 8. So there. So if X is anything smaller than minus 8, it's negative. And anything bigger, it is positive. And X minus 1, let's draw that down here a bit. X minus 1 zeroes out at 1. Anything bigger than that is positive. And anything smaller than that, it's negative. So here, here, and here. Right. <coughs> because we know we, our function is x minus 4, x plus 2, over x plus 8, x minus 1. So it's effectively, <coughs> if you look in here, this we can call this 1 and this 2. And this can be 3 and this 4. So really, this is 1 times 2 over 3 times 4 and you're just interested in the signs and I'll probably do it down here because I've, I've again got no way I want to be so in this area here left of the minus 8 you have negative times a negative negative no, they're all negative so a negative times a negative is a positive 1 times 2 is positive 3 times 4 is po positive so all of this makes a positive area here in this region, you've got negative times a negative, 1 times 2, that's a positive, over a positive times a negative, which is a negative, so that's a positive, divided by a negative, which gives you a negative. Right, in here, you have a negative times a positive, negative, ne positive times a negative, negative, negative over a negative will give you a positive. In here... You have a negative times a positive over, over a positive times a positive. So that must be a negative over a positive gives you a negative. And on the right hand side, everything is positive. So that must be positive. So finally, it's been a bit of a marathon getting there. But this is showing us that x minus 4 over x plus 2 sorry, x minus 4 times x plus 2 over x plus 8, x minus 1, is less than or equal to 0 when, well, less than or equal to 0 is when you've got negative, so you've got this region here, which is between minus 8 and minus 2, inclusive, because it can be 0, so when it's between minus 8 and 2, minus 2, Oh, this function is also negative in this region here. So that's when x is between 1 and 4. Or 1, 4, x inclusive because it can be 0. So that means that x over x plus 8 is less than or equal to 1 over x minus 1. That's the original question when x is between minus 8 and minus 2, or x is between 1 and 4.